All right, uh, lift off and the clock has started. Hey everyone, I'm Tom June and welcome back to UK Space News, your home for the latest goings on in the UK space flight industry. Now, in my previous video, which I released on Wednesday the 21st of December, I did say I thought that would be my last video for 2022, but alas, within three hours of the release of that video, the UK Civil Aviation Authority released this announcement. And yet, yeah, you're reading that right. The CAA has finally given Virgin Orbit approval and issued their launch and range licenses, meaning that Virgin Orbit is now free to start us all up and launch from Spaceport Cornwall on that all-important historic first rocket flight from the UK. And what an early Christmas present that was. It might have invalidated some of my comments on my last video, but that doesn't matter because Virgin Orbit have now got the go-ahead and they can start planning for that next launch window. Now, in my last video as well, I did mention this. When a launcher op operator, let's say they are given their license on the day this video goes out, they still have to give at least two weeks notice for the launch that allows the various permits and things to be put in place around the launch site. And yeah, uh, call that a little bit of intuition or foresight, divine intervention, what have you, I don't know. But uh, yeah, my comments there about uh, if Virgin Orbit were given the go ahead, even on the day this video was released, still hold true as Virgin Orbit still have to give a minimum of two weeks notice to the air and land uh, authorities and the service crews and, and everything else. Um, that basically means that uh, a launch in 2022 is 100% off the cards. And Virgin Orbit also released a very brief update to say that one of the technical issues that was delaying the launch was actually caused during testing at their Mojave, California base of one of their Newton 4 engines. Uh, that forced them to go back and inspect the Launcher 1 rocket and its Newton 4. There's no information as to what the technical issue was, whether it was a leak or some kind of mechanical problem, but either way, engineers were on ground at Spaceport Cornwall inspecting the Launcher 1 rocket and that upper stage Newton 4. Hopefully, whatever issues they were having have been ironed out and the rocket system is good for launch whenever that will be. So, as I mentioned as well previously, the current launch window closes on January the 3rd, 2023. That leaves absolutely no time for this current window. But they will be working closely with Spaceport Cornwall to arrange the next window. And all signs are pointing towards a mid to late January 2023 launch, or at least window opening. I'm sure we're all getting even more excited now. And if you want to continue the excitement, maybe check out my Kerbal Space Program recreation of the video. I do go into some technical detail as, as well as details about all the payloads that uh, Cosmic Girl and Launcher 1 are going to be carrying for this mission. So it is well worth it. Go and check it out and we can all get excited together. Now, depending on the launch date and the time, etc., if it falls in with my work commitments, I'm still hoping to go live for that one. And I'm really hoping that you guys can all come in and join as well. Pretty much what I'd be expecting between now and the actual launch is for Virgin Orbit to continue their wet dress rehearsals, further fly arounds of the launch site and just basic activity. We've seen Cosmic Girl static at Spaceport Cornwall for quite a while now, so it'd be really good to see the old bird moving. And in other UK news, there's not been much, granted, because it is the festive season after all. Uh, but Pulsar uh, have been uh, back in the news again. Pulsar are a company that I've not yet mentioned on this channel, but they are developing nuclear fission rocket, en uh, rocket engines. Unlike Rolls-Royce, who are developing thermonuclear engines, uh, this is going to aim to deliver twice the amount of uh, flying power as what Rolls-Royce are proposing. And as we go move into 2023, they are one of the companies that we will be paying attention to, and I'll be looking at them in more detail into next year. Also planned for 2023, I'm going to look a lot more at some of the other new space startups in the UK. 
Of course, next year is geared up to be a really exciting year as far as UK spaceflight is concerned. We're going to kick it off with a bang with Virgin Orbit, completing that historic milestone launch, and then hopefully in the spring, at the end of Q1, we're going to see launching from Saxavord up in Shetland. They continue to motor on, and I'd be expecting some significant movements into early next year. So. We've got a lot to cover next year. I really hope that you guys can uh, stay with me on that journey and I'm going to bring you the latest UK space news as it comes as ever. Now that just leaves me to say that's it for 2022. I really, really have appreciated all of the likes, the comments uh, and all the feedback I've had since I started this channel just a few short months ago. So. Don't forget, if you did like this video, then hit that thumb below and subscribe to the channel if you've not already done so. Tick that bell for notifications of future UK spaceflight news. And that just leaves me to say, until next time, until 2023, you have yourselves a very, very happy new year. I've been Tom June, and thanks for watching.